Call today at 866-374-0841 to schedule a free retirement assessment to learn about protecting your assets from a market collapse. That's 866-374-0841. 866-374-0841. I'm Elizabeth McDonald, and this is the Fox Business Report. The gross domestic product declined 1.5% in the first three months of the year. It's a confirmation the economy slipped at the start of this year, a little more than first reported. However, there is continuing strength in the job market. The number of people filing for unemployment benefits for the first time declined to 210,000 last week. Economists were expecting little change. Macy's profit more than doubled in the recent quarter from a year ago. People are back to dressing up for special occasions. They were also buying luxury goods and things they need for travel. Tech giant Broadcom is buying cloud provider VMware. The deal is worth $61 billion. It's seen as a bet that demand for enterprise software will endure despite inflation and higher interest rates. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Kosolda, invested in you. After 9-11, Ben Harrow couldn't wait to enlist in the Army. But in Afghanistan, Ben stepped on an IED while leading an anti-terrorism mission. Ben survived, but lost both of his legs above the knee, two fingers, and sustained injuries to his right forearm. Ben now lives in a smart home from the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, which gave him back his independence despite his severe physical challenges. Help heroes like Ben. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. High fly ball off the bat of Castro, deep to right center field. And that ball is gone! Harold Castro with a two-homer game. How about it? The Tigers play 650 tonight on 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with the On the Art Lewis Show, talking to Dr. Joseph Fidel and uh, Eric Marhar from Ascension St. Mary's uh, about strokes and stroke awareness. Uh, so let's let's talk about the symptoms. Dr. Fidel, uh, does a person know or realize they're having a stroke? Uh, sometimes they do. Most of the time, is the people around them that notice it. So um, if somebody's slurring their speech, they have a droopy face, they lose vision and part of the visual field or in one eye or the other. If an arm is numb or weak or feels heavy or they're not able to walk because the leg feels heavy, if they're dizzy and imbalanced, all those are acute signs of stroke. Now they might not be, but the safest thing is to assume it is a stroke because the sooner they seek medical attention, the better their outcome is going to be. And this is why we recommend that people call 911 when they experience any of those symptoms or if you notice somebody around you having these signs. So let me ask about cause. I mean, do we know what causes a stroke and can we as humans prevent getting a stroke? 
Um, yes, that's the answer, but not all the time. So when somebody comes in with a stroke and after all what we do and the intervention and surgeries, etc., our main goal after they leave the hospital is that we prevent another stroke. Now, around 50% of the time, we identify a direct cause and we can attend to that cause. Uh, the other times, we just try to do general prevention to minimize another stroke. But statistically speaking, uh, there's a big portion of people that have a stroke have actually had a stroke in the past and they did not basically do the right thing or they were not directed well to do the right thing. Is there is there such a thing as a, a mini stroke as opposed to a full-blown stroke? Yeah, and that's really important because a, a mini stroke, we call it medically as a transient ischemic attack or TIA, and uh, those are the worst because what happens is people will experience the signs of stroke, and then within a few minutes, it resolves, and they, you know, discard it. They don't do anything about it. But actually, this is a, an alarming sign because a major percent of those people that uh, experience a mini stroke will end up having an actual stroke within the next few weeks. So are the, are the symptoms the same for a TIA? Usually, yes. But we don't, because they resolve so quickly, we don't think about it then. Yeah, which is wrong, you know. When, when, when we experience that, that needs medical attention. And if we do that, then we have the chance of preventing an actual stroke. So, Eric, when you go out and you talk to groups about stroke and stroke prevention, let's talk about the prevention side. What do you tell them? So we look at what are their personal risk factors. So we have what's called non-modifiable and then modifiable risk factors. Non-modifiable is you have it or you don't. There's nothing you can do about it, such as the older we get, the more likely we are to have a stroke. Uh, if you have a family member that's had a stroke, you're more likely to have one. Uh, African, American, and Hispanic, more likely to have a stroke. And then males in the younger population, males are more likely to have a stroke. But as we increase in age, it actually flips to females. So if you have those or you don't, nothing you can do about it. What we can work on are the modifiable. So high blood pressure is a huge risk factor for stroke. It's, if we have high blood pressure, we need to get it under control, whether it's with diet, exercise, medication. Then other things, cholesterol, atrial fibrillation, uh, obesity. So we have a lot of personal things that we can work on to try to make ourselves more healthy. Uh, probably about a third of the country has type 2 diabetes. Is that a factor? It is. Why is that a factor in so many things? Because uh, with diabetes, it affects the blood vessels. So diabetes causes disease of the vessels themselves. And then they will be more prone uh, to occlusion and more prone to collecting um, a cholesterol plaque in them. And that's why this is how diabetes affects your vision, affects your kidneys, and also it affects the vessels to your brain and can cause a stroke. Uh, Dr. Dahl, Ascension St. Mary's, is that a, a certified stroke center? Well, I'm glad you asked. We are actually a comprehensive stroke center. There are 11 centers in Michigan, uh, around the 110 or so in the United States. We are a comprehensive stroke center, and we're proud to be, and uh, we're the only uh, center north of uh, Flint, and that's why we feel that we have a big responsibility. We've been coordinating with all the other hospitals around us. And uh, regardless of politics and competitions, everybody is in agreement if somebody's having a stroke and needs the intervention, the faster they come to us, the better they will do. And we've been open and accepting people. Now, what's even more important is all of North Michigan is not covered. And although those hospitals up north are sending the patients here as fast as possible and we immediately perform the timely interventions, it is still not enough. So I'm going to share some exciting news with you. Uh, today, uh, we are using in our hospital. So after this show, I'm going to do the first robotic endovascular case. It's gonna, this, uh, we have a robot now in our intervention suite. There's only 11 of it in the United States. We're so proud to have one here. 
And this robot currently, what we're doing is we're using it while we're in the hospital. But hopefully, eventually, likely it's going to take a few years maybe, but we're going to start putting those robots up north in hospitals where at one point we'll be able to perform those interventions while we're here and the patient is up north. And you say it's going to take some time? It's, it's taking time. We've made a huge advancement, and we're able to get this uh, unique robot here. It's going to take some time and capabilities and investments and donations to uh, run those robots uh, in the northern Michigan area. Technology has changed medicine a lot since you got into practice, hasn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Growing up, uh, we had a saying that, like, if somebody has a stroke, like, that's it, they're done. And uh, now, no, it's just the beginning of a very rapid and quick and coordinated intervention to actually uh, reverse it. Does, you know, given the human brain and its complexity, does it learn workarounds? By that, I mean, let us say, part of the brain uh suffers from the stroke and those cells die out does the brain figure out how to work around it uh, yes unfortunately we are not smart enough yet to know exactly how the brain works and how every single cell uh, function there's still uh, research trying uh, to really regenerate those dead cells but what happens is when somebody has a stroke and that area of the brain dies it will not regenerate however the cells in other areas of the brain try to pick up the function. And this is how you see people after a stroke, we send them to rehab and physical therapy. And it's just stimulation. And a lot of them actually regain significant function back. Mm. Eric, uh, is there a website where people can get more information? Yes, you can go to uh, ascension.org. You can go to our hospital website, and we have uh, information on there for stroke. Then there's also multiple organizations, such as uh, uh, Stroke Association, American Heart Association, with a lot of really good resources. Well, gentlemen, Dr. Adele and Derek, uh, thanks for spending a little time with us this morning. And again, let's remind everybody, if they have symptoms or know somebody with symptoms, act and act quickly, correct? Absolutely. Dr. Adele, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome, Eric. Thank you for joining us today, too. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Dr. Joseph Adele and Eric Mahar from Ascension St. Mary's uh, and a uh, comprehensive stroke center, one of only 110 in the country, only 11 in Michigan. We thank them for joining us on the Art Lewis Show. Open phones now for the remainder of the program right through 11 o'clock. But let me take a moment to tell you about my friends at Thalen Honda, North Euclid Avenue in Bay City. Because I'm sure if you've driven around and you looked at, you know, dealer lots, they're pretty bare. Not a lot of new vehicles. But they have a lot in the pipeline. Thalen Honda is no different. Uh, and they would like you to stop in and secure a new Honda on order while you still can. They'll show you what's in the pipeline. Put your name on it. When it comes in, it's yours. And with gas prices where they are, remember, too, Honda was ranked first among all full-line automakers in the 2021 EPA report at 29.1 miles per gallon, 3.7 miles per gallon higher than the industry average for the 2020 model year. Plus, the 2022 Honda Civic won the prestigious North American Car of the Year Award. In addition, the Honda Ridgeline was ranked first among the longest lasting trucks. So visit Thalen Honda on North Euclid Avenue in Bay City today. See what's in the pipeline and reserve the car of your dreams. Now, if you're driving an older car, maybe you want to move up to a newer vehicle, but not necessarily brand new. Pre-owned vehicles are the way to go. And the Thalen Auto Group on North Euclid Avenue in Bay City is one of the largest collections of pre-owned vehicles in the Great Lakes Bay region. Stop in, look them over today, sit down with a Thalen representative and get the car of your dreams. All of them have been inspected and they are ready for immediate delivery. Check them out online too at thinkthalen.com. 
Remember, the Thalen family has been serving your automotive needs for over 45 years. For over 20 years, you have known Sunrise Awnings as the home of the shady deal. Living in Michigan, we are always looking for ways to spend more time outdoors. Especially now, Sunrise Awnings provides homeowners that opportunity to expand their living space with Sunsetter or Summer Space Awnings. Enjoy family and friends, protected from the sun, rain, and heat. Call Sunrise Awnings today to take advantage of that outdoor lifestyle you enjoy. Check us out at sunriseawnings.net. Get the most out of your patio and deck with a retractable awning from Sunrise Awnings. Spring is finally here and exterior projects have begun. This is Sonia with Westside Decorating. Stop in for time-saving advice and products like Ready Seal Stains, a groove-proof wood sealer, and stain finish for fences, decks, pergolas, and more. Ask about our solar screen shades that protect your interior finishes and budget from UV rays and the hot sun. As always, design consultations are available. Westside Decorating Center, 5789 State Street in Saginaw Township. Do you know what people see when they Google you? Search engines don't always get it right. And when they're wrong, it's your reputation on the line. So what do you do when you don't agree with your search results? Call Reputation Defender at 800-401-6681. Reputation Defender is one of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. We have over a decade of experience in fixing people's search results, and we can help you, too. Using cutting-edge approaches, Reputation Defender pushes unflattering information down to lower pages of your search results, where few people ever look. We also promote the good stuff so that it rises to the top, letting you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave to the whims of a Google algorithm. You owe it to yourself to take control with Reputation Defender. Visit www.reputationdefender.com or call 800-401-6681 for free advice on your situation. That's 800-401-6681. Sound Asleep Lab is the only private accredited sleep lab in mid-Michigan owned and operated by a physician. Do home and in the lab sleep studies. If you're waiting months for an appointment, we can see you within one to two weeks. You may consider doing a cost comparison before your next sleep study. Our charge is less than 50%. No worries of having to go into the hospital with four convenient locations in Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, and Mount Pleasant. Please discuss with your primary care provider or call 989-792-2792 for an appointment. 792-2792 or check us out at soundasleeplab.com. When you have a gambling problem, you have a money problem. Ten gallons of gas, cash, or credit. Yesterday's lottery ticket won't fill up your tank. Because when you're feeding a gambling problem... Okay, your grocery total is $98. It's difficult putting food on the table, paying your bills, and keeping your life together. If you or a loved one is struggling with gambling, get free confidential help at michigan.gov slash problem gambling. Sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services and the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. The WSGW Morning Team Show. The WSW Online Poll, your summer travel and vacation plans. In previous months, several surveys were indicating more people were planning to travel to do vacations in summer 2022 than in the past couple of years when activities were curtailed because of COVID. But now, because of high gas prices and overall inflation, there are some news reports showing that some people are changing plans or even canceling. Others, though, are still committed to whatever travel vacation plans they had, no matter what is going on. Poll question for you is... How would you describe any travel or vacation plans that you have for summer 2022? Do you have your plans made and you're going to enjoy them no matter what? Do you have your plans, but you're going to make some changes because of some of the high pricing? Are you canceling your travel or vacation plans? Or did you not have any plans in the first place, so you're not affected in the second place? We want to know what you think when you go to WSW.com and make your vote. You scroll on the homepage, find the poll box, and thank you for participating. <laughs> The Morning Team Show, weekdays 5.30 till 9 on WSGW. Broadcasting from the Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Showroom and Design Center Studios, this is WSGW. Hi, we're back with you here on WSGW, the Art Lewis Show, and to our phones, and we say good morning to Errol in Saginaw. Errol, good morning. Good morning. I guess the Democrats didn't you or tried the Chicago way of uh, gathering signatures up at Tombstones. <laughs> Is that how this works here? I don't know. Anyway, you had a gentleman on last week that uh, the other day uh, was wondering how I think. Well, this is the way I think. I don't personally hate the individuals that are Republicans. 
I hate their damn politics. It's been going on since the first union came out in this country. They do not like unions because it interferes with anything they want to do, from working conditions to everything else. You remember I put 25 years on the Saginaw Fire Department, and I was involved with the union on the fire department. I was there when we shut every fire station down in the city because they lied to us. We had the city manager arrested and hauled him to headquarters till he smartened up a little bit, and we got things straightened out. Even though we had one guy walking up and down front of City Hall that says we have bad morals instead of morale. So, you know, that was a fun time. But I do not uh, have any animosity to the Republicans that make for interesting uh, talks in a lot of, on a lot of occasions. I detest Trump. I hate that man because he's responsible for the mess that this country's in from the day he got election. And why are the Republicans still adamantly supporting that man? He's a nutcase. Under uh, his fair piece, because they think his policies were for better for the country. Well, it, it, I agree he's done a lot of good for the country. I, I'm not in love with Biden because I think he's got uh, some Alzheimer's on the start. And God forbid, I do not want him to be out of office. I'd like him not reelected, but I don't wish him any health problems. Trump, if you look under that hair piece, you may find three sixes under there. He has been a disaster <laughs> from the day he was elected office. Well, his personality is, but, you know, there are a lot of people. I'm one of them who I've said many, many times I voted for him for his policies. As a yep. person, I have no use for him, but his policies were good. His policies I, were I right. Agree. Why did he like Putin? Because he wanted to build a casino in Moscow. Yeah, that may be. I don't know. Well, you know, and I it, don't know. It, it's, a, it's a shame that we got a battle over over Mr. Trump because he he thought that Dr. Oz ought to just declare himself a winner. Don't don't wait for the ballots to get counted. Just declare yourself a winner. Well, see, that's now, the stuff I don't listen to from him. Well, I only I look at his policies. I don't listen to his mouth. But there's a lot of people in this country think. He well, on so water. what? There's a lot of people who think Biden walk on water. I'm not one of them. Uh, neither am I. Well, all right. I, there you go. I, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, this country is fun. I just wish we quit trying to kill each other over it. But anyways, that's all right. how I feel, sir. Talk all right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Back with more after these notes. Don't just like to lawn. Love to lawn with the Cub Cadet XT Enduro Series. Head to Wall Files Ace Hardware, your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer today, and see how the fastest growing lawn tractor is setting the standard for performance and comfort. Cub Cadet is delivering more strength, more versatility, and more durability in one lineup that now features bold new redesigns of the fully electric XT1 and the dealer exclusive XT2. The XT Enduro Series also offers extra tough fabricated and stamped decks, breakthrough cutting and bagging performance, incredibly responsive handling, and an ergonomically designed operator station with an adjustable seat for incredible comfort, all backed by strong warranties and the genuine parts, accessories, and trained service technicians only Wolf Files can provide. For expert advice, superior service, and exceptional offers, visit Wolf Files Ace Hardware, 5818 State Street, Saginaw, where customer service still exists. It's the sound of a good deal, that's music to your ears. Comerica Park is once again the place to be. Listen to this crowd. Don't miss out when the Tigers host the Cleveland Guardians this Thursday through Sunday. Way back and left. Go. Be here for Polish America Night on Friday, plus the return of Friday Night Fireworks. On Saturday, the first 10,000 fans get Tigers floppy hats, courtesy of National Coney Island. Sunday is Chevy Sunday Kids Day. All kids 14 and under get free rides. Post-game kids run the bases, face painting, and more. For tickets, go to tigers.com slash tickets. No one roots like Detroit roots. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. 
the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job in ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Uh, hey guys, the Royal Management Team has gathered you here in the old conference room to announce that thanks to all your hard work, the granary has enjoyed record profits this year. Woo. Nice. Uh, that said, there still isn't room in the budget for raises, but we will be providing gift cards to Grimwald's Tavern. I'm sorry, I've been informed they are actually coupons, not gift cards. Throughout history, people have always been underpaid. That's why Monster lets you search jobs by salary. Find your job at monster.com or download the app. Hi, this is Mike Avery. You know you can hear my outdoor magazine show Sunday mornings, 9 till noon on WSGW. But now there's another option. Saturday morning, 6 till 9. Tune in for the latest outdoor news and information, hunting and fishing tips, wildlife and conservation issues, even some wild game cooking. That's Outdoor Magazine now on Saturday mornings, 2, 6 till 9, right here on WSGW 790 AM and 100.5 FM. All right, we are back with you here on WSGW and uh, back to our phone. Scott is in Saginaw. Scott, good morning. Hey, morning. All right. Uh, since uh, your last caller couldn't give examples, I am prepared to give examples of the hypocrisy of the left. <laughs> I knew that would be so, coming. So I'm going to start. I'll just go through it really quickly. About two weeks ago, Democrat Senator Chuck Schumer came forward and demanded a vote. And he wanted to know which senators would not allow women to have an abortion. Now, two weeks later, this same senator is out there the, demanding the right to protect the children. So two, two weeks ago, he wanted to murder them. Yeah. Now he wants to save them. Hypocrisy. Another one, Cory Booker. This Ooh. guy comes out. Yeah, he comes out and says bulletproof glass in walls wouldn't have saved the children. But then I think, Mr. Democrat Senator Cory Booker, what was the first thing you guys did after January 6th? Put bulletproof glass in the Capitol and surrounded yourself with walls, fencing. They're, they're hypocrites. And on, on one last one here, this DOJ was weaponized by this administration to call parents homegrown terrorists. Meanwhile, now we have a report coming out that the FBI spied on 3.3 million Americans using a law that is reserved to spy on terrorists. That's what this administration is up to, Harold. Not Donald Trump. This administration is spying on the American people. All right. So I, I, I hope Harold. It's Errol, like not Harold. What is it? Errol. Er, well, I, I hope he will start actually reading policy instead of being just a good Democrat and voting what the union tells him to. Because we have real issues going on in this country where we have a real president and people spying on the American people. All right. These are facts. All right. Good enough. Thanks, Scott. Take care. All right. And yep. here is uh, Bill in Hemlock. Bill, good morning. Yes, I just want to thank Earl for calling in. He said exactly what I'm thinking. And I voted for Trump. I would never vote for him again. I wish I would have listened to Glenn Beck and the Bush family who said, if you have any morals, you cannot vote for Trump. But my morals aren't that high, so I voted for <laughs> Trump. But I'm in I your boat, I then. Would know. <laughs> and they're, they're both too old anyway. Well, that's, okay. that's going to be the interesting thing to see who comes out of the shadows and, and who runs. Uh, the f first question is who the Republican candidates will be. You remember the last time there were like 17 of them. Uh, yeah. And the next question is, will there be Democrats coming forward to challenge Biden if he decides to run again? I don't right. know the answers. I really don't know the answers at this point in time. Uh, other than maybe, you know, maybe one on the Republican side, DeSantis, I, I don't know who else is going to take the forefront. I don't know who's going to show up and take the leadership. I don't know. On both sides, though, we should be able to find somebody younger and better. You would think so. Oh, who knows? But anyway. Maybe we will. <laughs> maybe we will. Yeah. American All voting right, public you. has been proven to be yeah. the, the American voting public 
has proven themselves to be fickle in the past. So who knows? Yeah. You know? All right, Bill. Yep. Thank you. You bet. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye now. And let's see. Here is uh, Chris in Midland. Chris, good morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, when uh, Earl talked about Chicago, when uh, I think he was touching on the uh, improprieties of the signatures of the yeah. – uh, uh, ballot. Uh, oh, the, I can't remember what's the right word. The, the signatures on the petitions. Yeah, right. Uh, Sh Chicago's been Democratic since before I was born, and yep. I'm 60. Yeah. So, but they had a reputation <laughs> for the they had a reputation for uh, the dead voting in Chicago for yep, years yep. and years and years. Yep. And I want to uh, continue with wh where Scott was going. Uh, Trump had energy in at this country, energy independent, lowest uh, unemployment in I don't I don't know how long, lowest minority unemployment, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I'm sorry that you know we're we're paying five bucks or seven or eight bucks a gallon for gas right now because of this administration's yeah. energy policy. Well, it's like I've said, okay. I voted for Trump for his policies, not for the man. I don't yes. have a lot of use yes. for the man. So all right. I, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you there. Thank All you. All right, Chris. Good enough. Thanks. Bye-bye now. Okay. No. Bye. All right. Let me take a moment to talk about your 401k. It can be an important asset for many Americans' retirements. You made contributions to your 401k every single paycheck for years and even decades. Its tax advantages and portability may enable workers to build sizable and important nest eggs. But its flexibility can also be costly if you aren't aware of potential mistakes. Great Lakes Investment Advisors have a guide that will teach you how to avoid any IRS early distribution penalties and full taxation on rollovers. A little known weapon you can use, your most mistake-proof option, and more. You can request your guide today at 989 835-7203 or visit greatlakesinvestmentadvisors.com. This commercial shall in no way be construed as a solicitation to sell securities or advisory services of any state other than Michigan or where otherwise permitted. Topics should be discussed with your individual advisor prior to implementation. Advisory services offered through Great Lakes Investment Advisors, a registered investment advisor, in the state of Michigan. And uh, we will uh, take a break and come back and uh, finish up this hour. Still time to talk to a caller, though. RibFest 2022 is back tomorrow at the Food Center in Sanford. Hi, this is Taylor Miet. You asked for it, and we're bringing it. RibFest is back. Tomorrow we will begin at 10 a.m. and we'll run until 6 p.m. or when the supplies run out. Get a full rack of fully cooked ribs, just $15, or a half rack for only eight. Plus, we will have your favorite sides available, including fresh deli and fruit salads, king Hawaiian rolls, and more. We will be going ribs all day long, right out in front of the store. RibFest is back tomorrow at the Sanford Food Center. How do you make the most of your land? If you ask the Wrens, who run with us on a John Deere mower, they tell you, I mow first, then I do all the trimming. But the Hubbards, who work behind the wheel of a John Deere compact tractor, would say, If it's something you want, just go after it and try it. Then there's the Mosers, who may mention from the seat of their John Deere Gator UTV, You can't be all working on play. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. Learn how to make the most of yours at Deere.com. Nothing runs like a deer. Want to pay less for gas? Stop at any one of your local 26 Forward Shell convenience stores where you'll save at least five cents a gallon on every fill-up with Shell Fuel Rewards. Earn even more cents off when you make purchases in-store on some of your favorite snacks and drinks. Stack the savings, and you can regularly save 10, 20, 30 cents or more off each gallon of gas. That's Fuel Rewards and your area Forward Shell convenience stores. And remember, when you want to pay less at the pump, go forward. All right, we're back with you here on WSGW. Time for Al in Midland. Uh, two minutes or so. Go ahead, Al. Good morning, Arthur. Morning. morning. 
hey, um, the last time I saw a tax cut from the Democrat, JFK was in the White House. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. But then again, most you know, people say JFK today would be a Republican. Yeah. Well, when are they going to take him off the Democratic Party uh, symbol for uh, <laughs> one of their heroes? Never. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, you're right. He would have been Republican today. Yep. You know, it just it it just amazes me that uh, that the Democratic Party has gone so far crazy left and all the kook things and crazy stuff. Uh, I think our founding fathers would be, uh, I, I want to use the phrase, spinning in their graves. That uh, That's an old thing that's been around. Yeah, turning over kid. turning over in their graves, the old turning line. Turning over in their graves, yeah. That, that, well, I tell you what they would turn over. They could not have in, envisioned the kind of communications we have today. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, they, I, they first of all, they couldn't have envisioned radio, then yeah, television, television, now yeah. social media and digital. They would oh, have yeah. no concept of that yeah. and how oh. it would affect the country. Yeah, you're right. They, they would be uh, if you could bring them, if you could bring them back into this uh, time period and have them see this. Uh, they would think we were te we were practicing witchcraft. Well, you know, I don't know about that, but they certainly would have, you know, you have to wonder if uh, if the founding fathers were alive today and had to write the Constitution today. Right, right. What wow. would that document look like? Oh, <laughs> I don't know that it'd be, that, I don't know that it would be that much different. I think it'd be huge. Well, you know, a stack of paper. <laughs> well, in terms of size, but in terms oh. of content is what I'm talking about. Yeah. So anyway. That'll do it. Interesting, interesting to think about that, isn't yep, it? Yep, it is. Yeah. All right, Al, I got to really run. Interesting. All right, Thanks, Art. take care. Bye bye. Have now. a nice day there, you sir. Too. Bye now. All right, that'll do it for uh, this hour of the Art Lewis Show. But we'll have open phones next hour, and a number of topics to uh, bring up and uh, chat with you about. But before that, we'll have news from CBS. They'll bring you up to date on the world and the nation, and then we will have the local report, bringing you up to date on the region and the state of Michigan. We do that. Every hour here on WSGW to keep you well informed. So we'll take a break and then we will be back with open phones next hour on WSGW. From the Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Studios, WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Vicki Barker in London. As Uvalde, Texas mourns the 19 children and two teachers lost in Tuesday's school massacre. We've now learned from Texas Department of Public Safety Lieutenant Chris Olivares that the shooter was able to enter the school through a back door that was unlocked. Law enforcement then followed him into the school. At that point, they were met with gunfire by the shooter. Several police officers were shot. But at that point, the gunman, the shooter, was able to make entry into a classroom. It's believed the gunman locked himself into the classroom for up to an hour before law enforcement was able to forcefully enter cameras in the school could explain why. Chris Fox for CBS News, Uvalde, Texas. This 27th school shooting of 2022 has reopened debate and old wounds over gun control. Like most of his fellow Republicans, Florida Senator Marco Rubio insists mental illness, not gun ownership, is to blame. I think any weapon is dangerous. Any firearm is potentially dangerous in the hands of a deranged lunatic. At the end of the day, the issue here is not the firearm, it's the lunatic. It's the lunatic and the firearm Senate Democrats say they're pushing for yet another vote mandating background checks. The Supreme Court ruling Roe v. Wade technically still grants women in the U.S. equal access to abortion, but one state has now effectively reversed that. CBS's Linda Kenyon reports. The strictest abortion ban in the country has been signed into law by the governor of Oklahoma. It prohibits abortion from fertilization, a move that pretty much bans most abortions. It also allows private citizens to sue those who help women get abortions. And in Casper, Wyoming, an abortion clinic that was planning to open in June has been firebombed. There were no injuries. It comes as the state is prepared to outlaw abortions if the U.S. Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade. Linda Kenyon, CBS News. Who won Pennsylvania's Republican Senate primary? 
No one knows. The vote's so close, it's triggered an automatic statewide recount, as KYW-TV's Alicia Roberts tells this us. This is the seventh time in Pennsylvania history a recount has been ordered, but it has never changed the result of an election. It will cost taxpayers $1 million when it was all said and done. And we're expecting to get those results on June 8th. Only about 900 votes separate TV Dr. Mehmet Oz and hedge fund CEO David McCormick. The winner takes on Democrats. Democratic Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman in November. British health officials have confirmed seven more cases of monkeypox in England, bringing the UK total to 78. More than 200 confirmed cases have now been recorded in at least 20 countries outside its usual range of Africa. On Wall Street, the Dow's gained more than 400 points in early trading. This is CBS News. Find your next great hire with Indeed. Their hiring platform makes it easy to attract, interview, and hire candidates all in the same place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. The Summer Concert Series is back at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. And we need great people like you to make it even more entertaining. We're hiring ushers, crowd control, wait staff, and bartenders. Wages start at $20 an hour for non-tip positions, $15 for tips. Upcoming interviews are scheduled for May 3rd, May 17th, and May 31st. For a list of openings, more interview dates, and complete details, visit SoaringEagleCasino.com. You know, every three seconds, there is a new victim of identity theft. A criminal could be applying for loans in your name, selling your personal information on the dark web. Now, protecting your identity can be very easy thanks to LifeLock by Norton. No one company can prevent all identity theft or monitor every transaction of every business. But LifeLock, it's simple and easy to protect yourself, and you'll save up to 25% off your first year when you go to LifeLock.com or call 1-800-LIFELOCK. Just use the promo code Hannity. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they get results, having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. 71 degrees at 10.05. Good morning. I'm Ann Williams. Bridgeport Fire Department and multiple agencies responded to an apartment building fire just before 2.30 this morning. Saginaw County Central Dispatch reports the fire was at 2236 King. Six families have been displaced by the fire and one person has been pronounced dead. King Road between Dixie Highway and Williamson was closed as crews worked to put out the fire. The cause is currently unknown. And it's under investigation. Earlier this week, one person died in an apartment building fire in Saginaw Township. Michigan State Troopers in this region will be wearing new body cameras by the end of the month. The cameras are being deployed in the Michigan State Police 3rd District, which includes the Tri-City, Flint, Lapeer, West Branch, and Carroll Posts. Every enforcement member at the level of Detective Sergeant and below, including motor carriers, uh, motor carrier officers, will receive a body-worn camera. Specialty teams such as the Fugitive Team, Emergency Support Team, and Multi-Jurisdictional Task Force teams are also included. Local media have been invited to see how the cameras operate this morning. WSGW News Time is coming up on 10.07. 
Spring is finally here and exterior projects have begun. This is Sonia with Westside Decorating. Stop in for time-saving advice and products like Ready Seal Stains, a groove-proof wood sealer, and stain finish for fences, decks, pergolas, and more. Ask about our solar screen shades that protect your interior finishes and budget from UV rays and the hot sun. As always, design consultations are available. Westside Decorating Center, 5789 State Street in Saginaw Township. We're proud to make Pioneer Sugar for you and your family. Proud to be found in your kitchen, the heart of your home. And it doesn't really matter what you make with Pioneer Sugar, whether it's with our granulated white, light brown, or soft confectioners. It's the memories you'll make using it that will matter the most. Pioneer Sugar, pure and all natural, made from sugar beets grown right here. What could be sweeter than that? WSGW News Time is 10.07. In the aftermath of the tragedy in Texas, how do you talk to your kids about the school shooting? It's important to address the school shooting in an age-appropriate manner, says Lisa Vitale, the program manager for trauma, burn, and injury prevention at the DMC's Children's Hospital of Michigan. Being open and honest and transparent and, lo and allowing the children to ask questions about it and giving them honest answers. And let your child know how you and the school are working to keep them safe. Experts say it's important for parents to manage their emotions when talking with their kids because children take their cues from adults. The Grace A. Dow Memorial Library Summer Reading Program, Oceans of Possibilities, runs through June, uh, runs from June 6th through August 13th. Readers of all ages can register on the Beanstack app or website, clicking on the Oceans of Possibilities Summer Reading Challenge to get started. Readers can log their progress throughout the summer to earn entries for prizes, including adult gift cards to many local businesses. Three participants will also be drawn at the end of the summer to win a Kindle Fire tablet. Children and teens can earn a free book for taking part and enter for a chance to win prize baskets or a Kindle Fire tablet. All winners must pick up their summer reading uh, prizes by Saturday, August 20th. The Grace A. Dow Memorial Library's website has more information. State Representative Amos O'Neill is one of 40 lawmakers chosen to participate in the annual Bauhe Institute for Legislative Leadership Development Training Program. The program is named in honor of the late James Bauhe, longtime uh, director of the Council of State Governments Midwestern Office. The goal of the organization is to assist and advance state government by providing research assistance, professional development opportunities, interstate consulting services, and suggested state legislation. The program identifies and assists promising state leaders in the Midwest. A member of the president's cabinet is to attend the Mackinac Policy Conference. Jonathan Carlson has more. U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg will attend the Detroit Regional Chamber's Mackinac Policy Conference. Buttigieg will deliver the keynote address on Wednesday, June 1st, and appear with Governor Whitmer later in the day. The governor tells us the visit will highlight infrastructure investments between the state and federal government. The president's bipartisan infrastructure law has earmarked money to help modernize America's roads, bridges, and more. Some of that money is headed to our state. When you see news happening, call the WSTW Newsroom 752-0790. It's 1010. I'm Ann Williams. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. We'll see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms here for today with cloudy sky conditions, a high in the upper 70s. Southwest winds are on 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25. Then for tonight, a chance for showers and thunderstorms, cloudy alone near 58. Friday, a chance for showers and storms, cloudy skies, a high of 61. Then on Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 72. Sunday, plenty of blue skies and sun, high around 81 degrees. Memorial Day Monday, sunshine, high of 88. Tuesday, mostly sunny skies, a high of 91. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki with WSGW Weatherology Forecast. Currently, it's 70. Now. The only local radio talk show offering you the chance to ask your questions and express your opinions. From around your block to around the world, The Art Lewis Show is on 100.5 and 790 WSGW and online WSGW.com.
Well, good morning. Welcome back. Hour number two of the Art Lewis Show here on WSGW. Delighted to be with you on this Thursday morning. Uh, this hour, we expect to hear from uh, Terry Henney, who is up at Maple Hill Nursery in Midland. Uh, we'll keep our eyes open for that and uh, get them on when we get them. Uh, this hour, though, we will have open phones for the entire hour. Whatever is on your mind, Saginaw, well, everywhere. 989-752-6111. Ever since companies stopped using uh, roaming and long-distance charges for the most part, we've been uh, able to just have that one phone number for almost anywhere in the country, the world for that matter. If you're out of the country, dial, uh, you know, plus one first. <laughs> Why not? Uh, by the way, something that has absolutely nothing to do with politics there is a new movie coming, and that movie is called Elvis. And uh, the young man who plays Elvis in the movie, Aaron Butler, received a 12-minute standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival uh, for his portrayal. Austin Butler is his name. And he got a 12-minute standing ovation for his portrayal of Elvis. Should be an interesting movie. There have been some interesting movies regarding rock and roll, if you will. And to me, the best and, and so well done was Bohemian Rhapsody, the story of Queen and Freddie Mercury. An amazing, amazing motion picture with fantastic acting. Absolutely out of this world. But I'm partial because Queen was always my favorite group, so what can I tell you? Anyhow, uh, I did have the, the pleasure many years ago of being in Montreux, where they recorded a lot of their music. And uh, there is a memorial to Freddie Mercury down along the water. And people still, this, today, after decades of his passing, place flowers on it and hang wreaths on it. It's, it's amazing to watch. They have to take it off every day because they get new stuff every day. Pretty amazing. Uh, anyway, uh, a lot going on, including here in Michigan uh, with the disqualification, the potential disqualification of five Republican candidates for governor. And Today, the Board of Canvassers meets and will decide to either uphold the dismissal of the five from the ballot or reverse it and allow them to proceed. I suspect, not based on any inside information that I have, just a gut feeling, I suspect that the Board of Canvassers will uh, follow suit and bar the five from the ballot, which has already led to some lawsuits from a couple of the candidates, and I would expect that the courts will have a final say on it. But I said this yesterday, too. Rules are rules, and they're for everybody. Now, if it can be proven that there was a paid-for conspiracy, if you will, to falsify signatures so these candidates would get disqualified as being alleged by uh, James Craig and others, well, then that deserves to be investigated. But on the other hand, if this was just greed on the part of the signature gatherers and the candidates weren't paying attention, well, that's too bad. Rules are rules. So it'll be interesting to see which way it goes and what they find out from it. Let's talk to uh, Dan, who is in Bay City. Dan, you're on the Art Lewis Show. Good morning. Well, it's a pleasure to be on the show, Art. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, hey, uh, it was last week one of your uh, callers, uh, were, they were talking about uh, the liberals are killing the Republicans and they brought up a couple cases. Well, I have a couple also cases of the opposite happening, and 
One of them was Charlottesville, when a poor young lady was killed by a car that mm-hmm. crashed into him. Yeah. Then, uh, then it was Georgia. So this was a while ago when a, uh, another 18 and 19 year old went in and shot all the people at a prayer meeting in a black church. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, of course, we have Buffalo, which was the same scenario. So, just a few examples of, you know. Well, killing. wait a minute. Now. Let, let's let's so that, I, hang on. Hang on a second now. Just a yeah, second uh-huh. here. I do have to ask. Okay. Uh, how do you know? The shooter in Buffalo, for example, was a Republican. Oh, I, I didn't say he was a Republican. I well, then that's not that, an example of the other side, is it? Well, he he uh, he was a white supremacist. All right. Oh, I mean that is a right wing uh, group, fanatical on, on right. the right. That, side. That's, I wanted your justification. Yeah, that's all. I'm not denying. Yeah. I just wanted your justification. Yeah, and then and both sides have and wackos. Both so sides have wackos. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And then and and then also the I think the same caller was calling today and said, Oh no, you know, Biden's spying on it. Well, the Patriot Act uh, was enacted after nine one one and that's they've been spying on us art legally since then, if not before. So I don't know if he thought it was just Biden. Well, you know, it's not. Uh, listen, here's the thing: when I look at some of this, I say to myself, "The book 1984 is coming true. <laughs> yeah. Big Brother is watching." Yes, you're right. <laughs> so I, I mean, and uh, and I think they all signed up for that back in the Patriot Act. It was, it was unanimous, I believe. Well, on both that, sides, yeah, yeah. Both sides. yeah. You know, I mean, so it's amazing what uh, being attacked does to. Uh, Allow for uh, bipartisanship, even exactly. when there maybe there, even when there maybe shouldn't be. But uh, yeah. you know, we yeah. we as a country tend to overreact. Yeah, very true. Okay, just yeah. want to throw a few little tidbits out there. All right, Dan. Hey, appreciate the call. call yeah, All no right. problem. Thanks. Appreciate okay, it. Bye. Have a good one. Bye bye now. All right, uh, ten nineteen on the Art Lewis show, and uh, we will take a break. We'll get your calls answered. Let them ring, and we'll get to you quickly. Are you ready for retirement? Well, Jason and Carl Kreiderman with Great Lakes Investment Advisors have a new book that can help make retiring easier and empower your retirement. They talk about how a well-thought-out financial plan can make the difference between just surviving and thriving in retirement. Using everyday language, this book explores how a simple process can help you cover all the bases of your financial life, including how taxes can affect your retirement and much more. Your finances are too important to leave to chance. Empower Your Retirement is written to help you understand the must-dos to prepare for the retirement you desire. Get your free copy of Empower Your Retirement by calling 989-848-1188. That's 989-848-1188. And for more on retirement planning, tune into Jason and Carl's radio show, Your Financial Empower Hour, every Sunday morning at 8. Firm provides insurance services, investment advisory services offered by Great Lakes Investment Advisors, Inc., a registered investment advisor firm in the state of Michigan. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job in ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. I'm Elizabeth McDonald, and this is the Fox Business Report. 
The gross domestic product declined 1.5% in the first three months of the year. It's a confirmation the economy slipped at the start of this year, a little more than first reported. However, there is continuing strength in the job market. The number of people filing for unemployment benefits for the first time declined to 210,000 last week. Economists were expecting little change. Macy's profit more than doubled in the recent quarter from a year ago. People are back to dressing up for special occasions. They were also buying luxury goods and things they need for travel. Tech giant Broadcom is buying cloud provider VMware. The deal is worth $61 billion. It's seen as a bet that demand for enterprise software will endure despite inflation and higher interest rates. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Kosola, invested in you. After 9-11, Ben Harrow couldn't wait to enlist in the Army. But in Afghanistan, Ben stepped on an IED while leading an anti-terrorism mission. Ben survived, but lost both of his legs above the knee, two fingers, and sustained injuries to his right forearm. Ben now lives in a smart home from the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, which gave him back his independence despite his severe physical challenges. Help heroes like Ben. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. It is the fundamental right of parents to direct the education of their children, unquote. That's the state law. And Representative Annette Glenn sponsored a bill to require posting that right in school offices and board meetings, fighting for parents. Paid for by Annette Glenn for State Senate. Hey, we've taken the microphone to Midland, where we are at Maple Hill Nursery at 2672 North Eastman Road in Midland. Getting ready for the Memorial Day holiday. That's what they're doing here at Maple Hill. They've been busy all the month of May. It's been a very busy season because people are going to be spending a lot more time at home or around the home. And they're making a special effort this year to make that backyard and front yard look a whole lot nicer and more livable. Of course, the outdoor furniture is first and foremost a big item here at Maple Hill. They've got a huge stock, great inventory, and good prices on a lot of outdoor furniture. The other thing is, is decoration when it comes to plants, pots, the hanging plants, and of course, shrubs and trees. All available right now. Special pricing for the Memorial Day holiday. They're open every Monday through Friday from 8 to 6 and Saturday from 8 till 4. Sunday, they're open noon to 4 and special hours on Memorial Day from 8 until 2. Maple Hill Nursery in Midland. Stop by and see us. The WSGW Morning Team Show. I heard about this guy who didn't want a birthday party. He told his company, don't throw me a birthday party. I don't want one. The company apparently does all the time. Their birthday parties from employees. He says, I don't want one. Do give me one. They threw him one anyway. He sued the company. <laughs> and he's won $450,000 for a right. birthday party. Over that. Well, it says that he doesn't like being the center of attention because it causes him to have panic attacks. And when he had a birthday party, he had a panic attack. Oh, so that's how he's damaged. Yeah. He sent a text to his office manager just asking, you know, why did you do this? You forced me to have to leave. I had to go out and get my car just to recover. And then the employee was brought into the office and he was fired. Okay, well, there's another part of the story. Yeah, exactly okay. right. He's been awarded $450,000, $300,000 for emotional distress, $150,000 for lost wages. He was fired yeah. because he didn't want a birthday party. It's his party. He can cry if he wants to. <laughs> oh. oh. Well played. Yep. The Morning Team, weekdays 5.30 till 9 on WSGW. High fly ball off the bat of Castro, deep to right center field. And that ball is gone! Harold Castro with a two-homer game. How about it? The Tigers play 650 tonight on 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back here on WSGW. And we'll go back to our phones this morning. Paul is in Saginaw. Paul, good morning. Morning, Art. Uh, to, uh, Art, in today's newspaper, I read that the uh, shooter in Texas was bullied in both uh, <clears throat> elementary and junior high. Yeah, so and what's dropped new? out of high school. But here's the reason why this, uh, he was bullied. He had a strong stutter and a strong lisp. Yeah, and so I'm, my, my I'm asking what's is, new. We what knew that. Disciplinary, what disciplinary action was taken against the bullies in both those schools? 
uh, were they uh, suspended, expelled, or was no action taken at all? You can ask that what question. What action should be taken against bullies? You can ask that question across the country because it happens every day. And apparently the resolve is to teach people supposedly about bullying and not to bully. Uh, but it's, I don't know how you prove it. I guess that they'd have to catch them in the act, you know, and, uh, I don't have an answer for that. I don't have an answer for that at all. That's, uh, that's an ongoing do issue. Think, do you think some disciplinary action should be taken against If you can bullies? figure out who they are. And what action should they take? I don't know. It depends on the severity of the, of the bullying, I guess. Just like anything else you do wrong. There's consequences right. depending on what it is. Because if you look at a lot of these uh, shooters all across the country over a period of years, uh, a lot of incidents like this seem to occur in their lives that yeah, give they're them subject to a, uh, uh, yeah. uh, anger and a frustration well that known. they take out on other people. Well known. Innocent people. Well yeah. known. Well, but it's publicized. an issue that should be uh, uh, looked into, I think. Well, I think they are, but I'm not sure how. Uh, you know, I really don't know the answer to that. All right. Yeah, I don't either. Good All luck. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Set up to Harrison, where we'll talk to Ed this morning. Ed, good morning to you. Good morning, Art. Morning. I have a little, uh, just a question. We've been basically talking about Trump and his administration and stuff like that. Well, Right away, right from the time he was elected, we had an invest. Everybody was accusing him of being collusion with Russia. Oh, yeah, which it proved to be on, false. On, right. and, and we spent millions of dollars on an investigation. Yep. They come out and said there was no collusion. Yep. Then we had another investigation going on by Durham. And now we've got a trial going on accusing a lawyer Sussman. Sussman yep. of lying to the government. You hear nothing about that on most of your networks. Well, to talk about. you heard about it when it was up front, but unless something happens and there's news being made, you're not going to hear much about it. Right now, there's not there's no news being made about it. But, but you'll hear about it. That have come out during the trial that people are saying, "Well, why didn't Mueller find this information?" Well, there's a lot of questions we they need to be all answered. Money out of it. Pardon. There's a lot of questions. They need to be answered. Right. But I said, you know, it, but all this time, these people kept saying, you know, we're, 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 he's doing this, he's doing that. And all for his whole four years of administration, this was going on. Yeah. Well, look, here's the thing. And I'm going to caution Republicans about this. I've already read a story where Republicans are saying, as soon as they take control of the House, they're going to call for the impeachment of the president, of Joe Biden. That is nonsense. Well, I, it is nonsense. I've, it's not that that's not what impeachment was designed for. No more than it was when they tried it on Trump. But right. this eye for this, this is, you know, this is ridiculous. Another thing that goes on, too, every time something goes on, we're going to have a hearing or we need an investigation. These people are sent there to do business of the people not to keep having investigation after I'm, investigation I'm not disagreeing with you with that I'm not disagreeing at all but that's what politics has I mean, become today and and our tax dollar oh <laughs> our tax dollars being spent foolishly it just reminded me of something I received in the mail this week I can't remember where it came from anyway but it was a a, a survey on COVID they want to know they gave you a website to go to. And in this envelope, there was two $1 bills. Really? For your, yes, for doing this survey. Well, it was nice for the government to send me back $2 of my own money. Was it $2 from the government? Do you know that for a fact? Was it a government survey? I've never heard, never heard of you the know, government. I don't know because I didn't. Well, and, well, well wait, 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 wait. If you don't know, how can you blame the government? Well, it, it was. A survey on COVID, that's all I know. Okay, well, then that's what it is. But you don't know that it was the government that sent you tax dollars. Well, I'm sure it probably came from the government because they- So now we're probably. Surveys. Yeah, but I'd never heard of a government sending money with a survey. Well, anyway, but maybe it was. Whatever it was, I appreciated the $2. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Although in today's inflation, it won't go very far.
<laughs> no, you're right. And that was something else I heard on the news today, too, about Detroit gas prices. Yep. $4.88 a gallon if you paid cash. Yes. For $4.99 if you use a credit card. Yep. So yep. guess what our prices are going to be doing around here pretty soon. You would expect. All right. So good enough. Anyway, Art, you have a good holiday. You too, Ed. Thanks. Bye-bye now. All right. Bye. And here is Stuart in Flint. Stuart, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I just uh, wanted to pipe in a little bit on the, uh, you know, the the the, the rumors of uh, maybe we'll impeach Joe Biden. And I'm thinking, you know, this makes me think there's all these expensive investigations that were obviously um, politically motivated against Trump just to dirty him up as bad as he could be done. And they're going wild about the a uh, little skirmish at the Capitol building and all that. But what I'm wondering is this, not only do we have the same technology to find the people from the Capitol building where uh, Dinesh D'Souza and True the Vault found thousands of people stuffing ballots in five key states, which probably you know, created a fraudulent election. But outside of that even, Joe Biden took a, an oath of office to the Constitution, probably I don't know how many times during his political career. And our border on the South is wide open for drug trafficking, human trafficking, and every else thing that you can happen bad, people not being tested for COVID. And one of his key responsibilities as a president is to secure the people of the United States to protect and defend. If we just have a wide open border, I think that in itself right there is grounds for impeachment no, it's proceedings. Not. No, it's not, because it's a political issue. No, it's a security issue. No, it's a political issue. And Congress after Congress, president after president, has kicked immigration down the road. He's just another in a long line. Uh, Trump and didn't. you can't, Trump did not. You're absolutely right. It's one of the reasons I voted for him, because I wanted the border secured. But it is still a political oh. issue that Congress has to deal with and the president has to deal with. High crimes Don't and misdemeanors. mean something, though? Words High, mean things. Well, they and do. if you take an oath to secure the nation, to protect the people, the security of the people, we can't have national security if we have anybody from all around the world walking over our southern border. And we people can't from have the Middle East. And we can't have an effective everywhere. we can't have an effective country if all we do is continue to impeach people. Well, you'd have to talk to the Democrats primarily about that, but he is not living up to his constitutional obligation by any stretch of the means. Then you and vote him out of he's office. Probably He's probably illegally in office to begin with. Well, no, we're not going to go there. 62 it, courts disagree ooh. with you. Well, 62 judges picked by who? Uh, Republicans by, and Democrats. Oh. Both. Well, I would beg to differ, and well, I think the you proof can, if has you wanna, finally rolled in. Well, all right. We're going to disagree on that, but uh, impeachment is not going to happen. Under, you know, you know it, it, to me— well, sure. We have we have gotten sure. to the place where we've forgotten how to govern when all we want to do is hold hearings and impeachments and nothing else gets done. That's not well, good for the country. I know the impeachments against Trump are absolutely ridiculous and they fraudulent. Were. But they now we, we have a man that's possibly uh, not yep. entitled right. to be in office. Well, all right. You'll have to prove that and you can't. So what are you going to well, do? I think Dinesh D'Souza proved it. All right. Good enough. 2000mules.com. Thank you, Stuart. Take care. Bye-bye now. All right, we're going to take a break, and we will be back with more. Get ready to go off-road and get to Saginaw Eagles Landing for the winner-takes-all giveaway. One lucky player will drive off with a new truck, a toy hauler trailer, and UTV side-by-side. -side. Drawings are every Saturday in May and June. Six winners each night get $1,000 cash and 1,000 bonus entries into the grand prize drawing on June 25th. It's winner takes all, only at Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino and Hotel. Real fun, real friendly. Visit Saginaw-EaglesLanding.com for complete rules and details. You know, every three seconds, there is a new victim of identity theft. A criminal could be applying for loans in your name, selling your personal information on the dark web. Now, protecting your identity can be very easy thanks to LifeLock by Norton. 
No one company can prevent all identity theft or monitor every transaction of every business. But LifeLock, it's simple and easy to protect yourself, and you'll save up to 25% off your first year when you go to LifeLock.com or call 1-800-LIFELOCK. Just use the promo code Hannity. 5G is here, but the big carriers want you to sign a pricey long-term contract to get access. Well, not anymore, because Straight Talk Wireless has rolled out 5G coverage nationwide with deals like our Silver Unlimited plan for just $45 a month and no contract. And get a Samsung Galaxy A32 5G for $249, all on America's best networks. 5G coverage, 5G phones, less money. Straight Talk Wireless, available at Walmart and Walmart.com. 5G-capable device required. Actual availability, coverage, and speed may vary. See terms and conditions at straighttalk.com. America could soon enter stagflation territory with slow economic growth, high unemployment, and high inflation. That is why I recommend gold IRAs from Birch Gold Group. Hi, Stephen K. Bannon here, and I want to remind you to get Birch Gold's free info kit on sheltering your savings with gold IRA. To get your free copy, text the word SHELTER to 989898. With stagflation looming, it's critical that you act today. Text SHELTER to 989898 right now. Ah, traffic. Right. This wagon commute is killing me. Mm. You mind if I turn on your old radio? Oh, this song again. I swear they play the same three chants on every station. At this rate, it's going to take a fortnight to get to work. Well, just be glad you don't need to fill up. I mean, have you seen the price of hay? Mm-hmm. Throughout history, people have always hated to commute. That's why Monster lets you search work from home jobs. Find your job at monster.com or download the app. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7-365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Hello, Michigan. I'm John Gonzalez. And I'm Amy Sherman. We've got big, big news. We're, We're back. back! And you can join us Sundays at 1 p.m. as we once again go behind the menu. We'll take you to every corner of the state, sharing the stories that make Michigan great. Find a hidden gem or a new favorite spot that might be located right in your hometown. We'll go above the bridge and taste our way across the state. Join us Sundays at 1 p.m. right here on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. This is the premier kitchen and bath gallery showroom and design center studios of WSGW. All right, we're back here on WSGW, and uh, we'll go to our phones. Tim is in Sterling. Tim, good morning. Good morning, Art. Right, how are you? We're doing well, thanks. Hey, uh, at the risk of being a speech, I want to catch you something just a little bit, okay? Yeah. Uh, your caller from a couple of uh, a couple of callers ago talked about that survey where he got a couple of dollar bills. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, or maybe you were one of the lucky ones, but way back in the day, uh, Nielsen, used to send out their ratings books, and that's how you would find out if shows were ranked first, second, third, whatever it was I, the week. I, because I'm in the media, I never get one of those. I wouldn't okay. know. And I well, never. Wait. And wait. also, I should tell you, uh, just so we all understand, uh, one of the things, if that were to happen, let's say you were to get a Nielsen book, we would not be allowed to talk about it with you. Okay. But you're talking about an old one. Yeah, I'm talking about like back in the 70s. Yeah, and, you yeah. Know, way, way back then. But that's not government. Uh, that's private. Exactly. But my, the reason I bring it up is because when the gentleman said that he had gotten a survey where he had, two, you know, $2 bills in it. Yeah. But Nielsen used to send you a survey book. You would get a shiny quarter. <laughs> Inflation has taken over. <laughs> A little bit, <laughs> yes, indeed. But that was always kind of a neat thing, and, and and it's not like I'm sure there were some people who may have gotten one multiple times, but generally, you you may have gotten one once, maybe twice if you were lucky. But Did they send um, you a, send you a quarter, so you put a stamp on it to send it back. I well, remember <laughs> stamps back then were like about a nickel. Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to say they were probably cheap. So you still made a profit. <laughs> Uh, no, that, it, it just when he said that about getting the two dollars, it just re reminded me of back, way back when yeah, that's that they funny. used to send you a quarter. So it's not unheard of for surveys to send. Oh, that I no, I understand money. that. I understand that. My question to him was, how did he know it was government? Because it wasn't. You know, that's that's my question to him. But yeah, I've no surveys have sent money out. 
But that's very, very, very interesting. <laughs> All right. Very interesting. But anyways, I'll let you go. I just, Tim, just appreciate wanted to change it. up the subject just yeah. a little bit. It's, Thanks. I think we're getting a little dark out there right now. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks it. Yep. Yep. Appreciate Bye-bye it. Now. Bye-bye. And let's talk to uh, Shane in Midland. Shane, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Lewis. Good morning. I just got a qu- I just got a question for your listening audience. I just want to know, what is the sole purpose of the Constitution? Well, the sole purpose of the Constitution, is there a sole purpose? That's an interesting question. As I would answer that, I would say that the Constitution set up the underpinnings of our government and that the Constitution provides for certain rights to each and every one of us in the country. Well, now I would argue that it's to limit government. Well, that's part of it. When I set up the underpinnings of the government, that's how it was set up, to limit government. That's part of the underpinnings. Yes, I would agree. I'm hearing this bickering bickering back and forth, Democrat, Republican. When I look at a Democrat or a Republican, I can't tell the difference anymore. Sometimes you can't. Some issues you can, some issues you can't. I mean, to me, some of the, the topics nowadays, uh, you know, according to abortion and all this stuff, you know, it's the right to life, you know, the pursuit of happiness, so on and so forth. I just, I just, I don't know. I'm seeing so much conflict out here and it's just, it's ridiculous. Why don't we just all come together and have a conversation? Oh, that'd be too easy. I'll tell you what's destroyed. Let me give you, let me put this forth and see how you feel about it. I'll tell you what's destroyed that social media. Well, I'm not going to argue there. (laughs) I I really believe that's what's destroyed that ability to sit down and have a conversation. It's polarized us beyond belief. It it was, yes. That that too. too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I I believe personally uh, that the moral compass of the country has shifted over the last four or five decades. I would not, have to agree. Cause most, not for a positive either. Most people don't even get out and talk to their neighbors anymore. Yeah. It's, it's, Whatever happened to being neighborly. Yep. Uh, listen, seeing somebody in need, give them a hand. Yep. And I think COVID has pushed us even farther apart. Well, I, I mean, down the lines of COVID. Okay. I'm a garbage man. I've been out here day one. I was 100% against the mask. Cause you know, you're breathing in a lot of carbon dioxide which the body is expelling to for a reason because it's a you know yeah it's used oxygen yes. so i've and been you're... out here i'm sure i got sick i didn't go get tested because i just feel it was 100 percent political well uh, you know i gotta tell you this though if i were doing what you were doing i'd be wearing a mask but not because of covid <laughs> <laughs> that's just the way i look at it i mean you know Oh my goodness! Well, listen. Well, I'd like to I'll say, tell you I, what. I, I appreciate. Hey, well, I'll tell you I what. I appreciate your show. I appreciate that. Thank you. But I appreciate what you do because you know, without your services, what would neighborhoods in a country be like? You know, we we tend to we tend to look at certain occupations negatively when we shouldn't. You should be put high uh, on a pedestal, not low on a pedestal, because what you do I'm, is as important to society as anything else. Well, you know, I greatly appreciate that because uh, you're exactly right. Nobody, I mean, and I'll say this, the older generation understands, but anybody I'd say 45 and under, they don't have the time of day for it. Yeah, well, that's part of the, the decline in the moral compass of the country. And that's unfortunate. So, well, I'll guarantee you, if I didn't come to their house for two or three weeks, they'd be whining and crying. <laughs> I bet they would. Wouldn't take that long. <laughs> well, I appreciate your show, and I gl- I'm glad that you try to stay neutral on all this garbage. <laughs> well, we try. And Shane, listen, I appreciate the call. Don't be a stranger. Do it again. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, my friend. Bye bye now. Bye. We're going to take a break. We'll also hear from Terry Henney up at uh, Maple Hill Nursery. All ahead here on WSGW. This is Dr. Eric Tedford, R&D Manager for Summit Agri-USA with some exciting information for sugar beet growers. Recent trial data from this area demonstrates the spray program with Regev Hybrid fungicide delivers remarkable control of Cercospa leaf spot. The same trials also indicate that Regev boosts sucrose content. This latest research confirms the advantage of Regev, the first hybrid fungicide, 
Breakup unites the power of botanical and conventional chemistries. This innovative combination provides sugar beet growers with eight powerful mechanisms of activity, plus Regev features double kickback curative disease control, and there are no supply issues. See the Regev data for yourself at our website, summitagro-usa.com. Regev fungicide is sold exclusively by Helena Agri Enterprises and 10 Co's member companies. Always read and follow label directions. Regev fungicide may not be registered for sale or use in all states or counties. Check with your local extension service to ensure registration status. are getting ready for the Memorial Day weekend, and I can't think of a better place to come and make that backyard and front yard look livable a whole lot nicer than maybe what it's been looking like for the last few years. Maple Hill Nursery has the decoration. They've got the plants. They've got the hanging plants. They've got the shrubs, the trees, and of course, the outdoor furniture. That has been huge this year. Demand is big. Product is available. They have a good inventory. And if you order special what you want, the waiting list is not that long and the waiting time. It seems like it's getting better as we go along. They can take special orders right now for that outdoor furniture and still you'll be able to have it for this summer. Maple Hill Nursery Memorial Day holiday weekend sale. Of course, on Friday, they're open. Today, they're open from 8 till 6. Saturday, 8 to 4, Sunday, noon to 4, and special Memorial Day hours on Monday from 8 until 2. Maple Hill Nursery at 2672 Northeast Monroe, right here in Midland, just about a mile north of the Midland Mall. Stop by and see us. If you have certain chronic conditions, such as heart disease, asthma, diabetes, and you're 19 years of age or older, 52, 36, 42, you may be at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower risk response to the vaccine. The most commonly reported side effect was pain at the injection site. For additional common side effects and full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm going to ask my doctor about getting vaccinated with Prevnar20. Your home for the Tigers is WSGW. Jump ball up the middle, fielded by Scope on a big hop to Baez to Torkelson. Tigers win. Inning ending, game ending double play. Tigers baseball on WSGW. Brought to you by Schaefer and Beerline and Frankenmuth. Your auto owners agents, including Buck Insurance Agency in Freeland. Rummel Agency in Saginaw, Frankenmuth, Caro, Vassar. Mayan Agency in Merrill. The Tigers play on WSGW. On the next Markley Van Camp and Robin show, I guess we'll try to make sense of it all. That is a very, very difficult job. We will have fun. <laughs> Markley Van Camp and Robbins, weekdays at noon on 100.5 and 790. News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with you. Art Lewis show. Lines open for you. And I have to respond, uh, Al sent uh, a, an email referring to what the founding fathers would think if they came back, if they look at the roads, the transportation, the devices we hold in our hands that speak to us and things of that nature. I have two th schools of thought on that. And let me tell you what they are. The first school of thought is they'd be scratching their heads. They would not understand it all because these things were all foreign to them. Electronics, uh, you know, the way we communicate today, uh, the way we transport ourselves today. Remember, the Constitution was written the day of the horse. Uh, nobody had any idea. There weren't even railroads yet. Uh, you know, and they were one of the first transportation systems to come along in the early 1800s uh, that the founding fathers may still have been alive to see. However, the other side of that coin is that the Founding Fathers would come back, look at all of this stuff that they don't understand, and say, see what we did? We gave you the foundation to be able to do this. 
we gave you the foundation to build the, the kind of infrastructure you have today, to have the kind of government with all its faults that you have today, but to be able to sit on these new founded communication devices and criticize that very government. We gave you that in the Constitution. So I think it would be a double-edged sword. Yeah, they'd scratch their head and say, what is all this stuff? But they'd also say, we gave you the ability to do it. And we use it every day. I use the First Amendment every day, sitting here with you. Now understand, of course, no right is unlimited. Talk to any constitutional lawyer, professor, anybody. They will tell you that, that there are limits. There are limits on free speech. Whether imposed by a government that says you can't yell fire in a theater because you endanger people, or whether it's imposed by an employer who says you can't say this about our company or we will fire you. There are limits. There are consequences. And the founding fathers, when they created the First Amendment, did not write in any consequences. But nor did they prevent consequences. And also understand, we as a society through the Supreme Court, mostly, have expanded what free speech means. If you go back and you look at the Federalist Papers and the words and thoughts of the Founding Fathers, what were they most concerned about? They were most concerned when it came to free speech for the ability of the citizen to speak out against their government without fear of reprisal and consequence. That's what the First Amendment is based on. It's really based on free political speech. But because they didn't say that, because they did not limit free speech, it has been generally interpreted to mean say what you want with certain exceptions. But again, it does not say without consequence. Nowhere in that document will you find that. So I just want to point out in responding to Al's email, which was interesting, founding fathers would probably have two views. The first view is what the heck is all this stuff that we couldn't imagine when we wrote the Constitution? And the second view would be, boy, we were brilliant. We wrote a Constitution that allows you to have all of this stuff and be able to have free speech and be able to use social media. Is it perfect? No way. But is it better than having the government tell you, now nah, you can't have that? Absolutely. I don't want my government dictating what I can say and what I can't say. Whether it's in my profession, sitting here as a talk show host, or in my private life, talking to friends, family, whoever, I don't want government telling me no, you can't say that. You can't talk about us. You can't criticize us. That's what's happening in Russia right now. You cannot criticize the war in Russia. You'll go to jail. You can't criticize Putin. You'll go to jail. You cannot criticize the government in Russia. They don't have our constitution. No one has our constitution. And for all the faults of this country, it is why this country has succeeded and still exists as a representative democracy. So just thought I'd bring that up this morning. We're going to take our last break and come back and close out. You know, a 401k can be an important asset for many Americans' retirements. You made contributions to your 401k every single paycheck for years and even decades. Its tax advantages and portability may enable workers to build sizable and important nest eggs. But its flexibility can also be costly if you aren't aware of potential mistakes. 
Great Lakes Investment Advisors have a guide that will teach you how to avoid an IRS early distribution penalty and full taxation on rollovers, the little-known weapon you can use, your most mistake-proof option, and more. Request your guide today at 989-835-7203, 989-835-7203, or visit greatlakesinvestmentadvisors.com. This commercial shall in no way constitute a solicitation to sell securities or advisory services in any state other than Michigan or were otherwise permitted. Topics should be discussed with your individual advisor to implementation. Advisory services offered through Great Lakes Investment Advisors, a registered investment advisor in the state of Michigan. How do you make the most of your land? If you ask the Rens, who run with us on a John Deere mower, they tell you, I mow first, then I do all the trimming. But the Hubbards, who work behind the wheel of a John Deere compact tractor, would say, If it's something you want, just go after it and try it. Then there's the Mosers, who may mention from the seat of their John Deere Gator UTV, You can't be all working on play. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. Learn how to make the most of yours at Deere.com. Nothing runs like a deer. Do you know what people see when they Google you? Search engines don't always get it right. And when they're wrong, it's your reputation on the line. So what do you do when you don't agree with your search results? Call Reputation Defender at 800-401-6681. Reputation Defender is one of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. We have over a decade of experience in fixing people's search results, and we can help you, too. Using cutting-edge approaches, Reputation Defender pushes unflattering information down to lower pages of your search results, where few people ever look. We also promote the good stuff so that it rises to the top, letting you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave to the whims of a Google algorithm. You owe it to yourself to take control with Reputation Defender. Visit www.reputationdefender.com or call 800-401-6681 for free advice on your situation. That's 800-401-6681. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Whoa. Oh, the roof just came off. Oh, God, it's hitting us. Damage in Gaylord after a tornado hit on Friday. Two people were killed and at least 44 were injured. News coverage. Buffalo. Hate will not prevail in this awful tragedy. News coverage. Reason for inflation. Record high gas prices. We're going to hit 10 bucks. Baby formula. The shelves are bare. News around the clock. We're going to win this campaign. Our border wide open. UAPs, they are real. It's just in time. On WSGW. All right, uh, that'll do it for the Art Lewis Show. Just a quick comment. Richard sent an email uh, asking he never could wrap his head around free speech when it comes to burning the flag. Uh, the answer is the courts have ruled that it is a protest of government. And one of the things that marks a great society is tolerance. And that means you have to have tolerance of those you totally disagree with. With that, we got to run. We'll be back with focus. We're going to learn about the Freedom Boat Club when we return right after the news. From the Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Studios, WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW-FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Steve Kathan. Songs and prayers in Uvalde, Texas, to honor the 19 children and two teachers killed in Tuesday's elementary school massacre. This nine-year-old was not far from the fourth grade classroom where the gunman opened fire. When I heard the shooting through the door, I, I told my friend to hide under something so they so he won't find us. CBS's Lily Luciano is in Uvalde. Ten-year-old Eli Garcia was the second oldest of five daughters. She was very sweet. Her aunt, Siri Arismendi, said she loved to dance and also play sports. She was very happy and 
very outgoing. Alexandria Anya Rubio's parents were at school earlier that same day to celebrate her. She was awarded that morning for being a good citizen. Well, CBS's Janet Shamlian on the investigation. There are new questions about the response to this after the timeline indicates that the shooter may have been in that classroom as long as an hour before authorities broke into the room where he had barricaded himself and killed him. Well, British prosecutors say they've just authorized criminal charges against actor Kevin Spacey for alleged sexual assault against three men. President Vladimir Putin tells an economic forum that the West will fail in its attempts to isolate Russia and will face growing economic problems. CBS's MTS Tayab has the latest on the situation in eastern Ukraine. The strikes are now just 50 yards away. With us is Oksana Kozevenko. Is this normal for this area? By any measure, this is not normal, she says. The Russians are giving us a hard time, but we can tell they're getting weaker. After several more strikes, we're given the order to make a run for it through fields of wheat, which are now a front line, Just go, go, go. and back to our vehicles. The government says eight of the 10 largest cities in the U.S. lost population in the first year of the pandemic, with only Phoenix and San Antonio gaining residents. Two weeks ago, a frightening situation when pilot Kenneth Allen became incapacitated. A passenger on their small plane with no flying experience took instructions from the tower and landed safely in Palm Beach, Florida. Today, Allen says he's grateful for the man on the ground. For Robert to be working that day, I understand you were not even scheduled to work. Correct. So, and him being the only uh, instructor, flight instructor in the tower or in the center of that or approach that day. Yeah. I mean, that was fate. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is up 482 points and the NASDAQ is ahead 250. This is CBS News. It's a day to honor, to remember, to reflect. This Memorial Day, honor our fallen soldiers with TAPS across America. For more information, go to cbs.com slash TAPS. Want to pay less for gas? Stop at any one of your local 26 Forward Shell convenience stores where you'll save at least five cents a gallon on every fill-up with Shell Fuel Rewards. Earn even more cents off when you make purchases in-store on some of your favorite snacks and drinks. Stack the savings, and you can regularly save 10, 20, 30 cents or more off each gallon of gas. That's Fuel Rewards and your area forward Shell convenience stores. And remember, when you want to pay less at the pump, go forward. It could be the best years of your life. In retirement, you'll finally get to do what you want to do. But you have to plan for it. Start by tuning into Mindy and Nolan McIntosh of McIntosh & Associates every Sunday at noon for Wealth Michigan with the McIntoshes. Make retirement the best time of your life. Tune in Sundays at noon for Wealth Michigan with the McIntoshes. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through AA Wealth Management, LLC. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they get results, having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. From the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom, this is WSGW News. 72 degrees at 1105. Good morning. I'm Ann Williams. Republicans sent a series of gun safety laws back to committee after a Democratic effort to advance them to a Senate vote in the state legislature. Democrat Jeff Irwin of Ann Arbor blasted the Republicans who sent the bill back after it had advanced to the Senate for a vote. They're doing it at the behest of the gun lobby. They're doing it at the behest of a minority of citizens 
who are putting their right to own any gun of any type above the safety of our people. You might have thought that this would be different when the tragedy came here to Michigan. You might have thought it would have been different when we saw this happen right here in Oakland County in Oxford, but it's not different. Republican Ken Horn said there were other spiritual solutions to the mass shooting problem and that the laws needed more discussion. Half of the slate of Republican candidates for governor of Michigan could be tossed off the ballot today. The State Board of Canvassers meets today and four GOP candidates for governor, former Detroit Police Chief James Craig, businessman Perry Johnson, Michael Markey of Grand Haven, and Donna Bradenburg of Byron Center, could be removed from the ballot over fraudulent petition solution, uh, signatures. State Police Captain Michael Brown dropped out over it. Gongwer News Service Executive Editor Zach Gorshow says they could take it to court. That's going to be the argument, that there has to be proof that these are actually, each signature is fraudulent. It can't just be who turned them in. I think, though, these candidates have an enormous hill to climb to convince a court of that. Gorshow says courts usually defer to Board of Elections findings in these cases. WSGW News Time is 1107. While you're comfortable inside your home or business, the weather takes a toll on your roof. Wind, rain, hail, UV rays, and the heat of the sun cause premature failure of your shingles. Everyone loves to save money. If you have an aging roof, don't spend a lot of money on replacement. Get a RoofMax shingle treatment and get some peace of mind. Get more life for less money. Guaranteed with RoofMax, a powerful fusion of science and nature. Call Ben today at 859-6751. Flock the Dow Diamond June 2nd for Midland Parks and Recreation Night. The Great Lakes Loons welcome Jay Jackson. Issue number one is the first issue we're going to talk about. Reporter Perd Hapley from Pawnee, Indiana. Perd will be available for selfies during the game. I have an update that contains new information. It's Thirsty Thursday with half-off beer all night and a fireworks loontacular following the game. Tickets are selling fast. Get yours now at loons.com. Three words for you. Treat. Yo, so. Midland Parks and Recreation Night with Perd Happily, June 2nd. You heard? Dive in! It's Loons Baseball Time! WSGW News Time is 11.08. Michigan now recording over 2.5 million cases of the coronavirus since the pandemic started more than two years ago. The state health department reported nearly 30,000 cases and 78 deaths over the past week. There are also more than 1,000 people hospitalized. That's the highest number since early March. Health experts in Detroit, as well as Oakland, Macomb, Wayne, and Washtenaw counties are recommending people wear masks while indoors in public settings. With the Memorial Day holiday weekend upon us, AAA Michigan says it's reactivating its tow-to-go program to provide safe transportation for impaired drivers and their vehicles. Tow to go is active from 6 p.m. Friday through 6 a.m. Tuesday, May 31st. About one of all traffic crash fatalities in the U.S. involves drunk drivers. Michigan taxpayers with past due tax debts should be aware of an aggressive scam making the rounds through the U.S. Postal Service, according to the Michigan Department of Treasury. In the scheme, taxpayers receive a letter about an overdue tax bill that requests individuals to immediately contact the toll-free number to resolve an outstanding state tax debt. The letter aggressively threatens to seize a taxpayer's property, including bank accounts, wages, business assets, cars, real estate, refunds, and cash if the debt is not settled. The scammer's letter attempts to lure the taxpayer into a situation where they could make a payment to a criminal. Police in Garden City are still looking for two drivers involved in a road rage incident that caused a deadly crash last week. Investigators say someone fired shots before one of the cars rear-ended a third driver. That driver died from his injuries. Police are looking for a black or navy Jeep Cherokee with dark tinted windows and red brake calipers. And this all happened in Garden City. When you see news happening, call the WSGW Newsroom, 752-0790. It's 1110. I'm Ann Williams. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. We'll see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms here for today with cloudy sky conditions, a high in the upper 70s. Southwest winds are on 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25. Then for tonight, a chance for showers and thunderstorms, cloudy alone near 58. 
Friday, a chance for showers and storms, cloudy skies, a high of 61. Then on Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 72. Sunday, plenty of blue skies and sun, high around 81 degrees. Memorial Day, Monday, sunshine, high of 88. Tuesday, mostly sunny skies, a high of 91. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki with WSGW Weatherology Forecast. Currently, it's 72. Now, it's time to focus as WSGW presents the people, the places, the businesses, the culture, the area events and activities, all put into focus on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW and online wsgw.com. And a good morning to you. Welcome. Welcome to another edition of Focus on WSGW. I'm Art Lewis, and Focus brought to you by RoofMax, the safe and affordable way to uh, help you with uh, shingle roof replacements and avoid shingle roof replacements for many, many years. RoofMax, you can find out more online at getroofmax.com or call Ben at 989-859-6751. RoofMax with two X's. Today, we're going to learn about something fairly new in our area. I had dinner the other night with uh, a couple of folks that own boats. One of them has a 42-foot Chris. The other has a 53-foot Hatteras. And we we're talking about all the expenses of owning a boat. I'd love to have a boat, but I don't want something that's called a hole in the water in which you throw cash. So are there other ways to be able to use a boat. Well, we're going to find that out this morning because there is something new in our area in Bay City called the Freedom Boat Club of Bay City. And with us to talk about it this morning is the membership executive. We say good morning to Anthony Adams. Anthony, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you heard me say, in my view, a boat is a hole in the water in which you throw cash. So if I want to avoid that, but yet I want to still be able to occasionally use a boat, how would I go about doing that with the Freedom Boat Club? Is that what the club is for? That's exactly what the club is for. Freedom Boat Club is for people who want, a, want access to a variety of boats at affordable price. You can basically get into our program for about the tax on a current average boat today. And what's really cool about Freedom Boat Club is you, you can access not just Michigan's 14 locations, but 350 locations worldwide. Oh, wow. So that answers the next question I was going to have. This is not unique to Bay City. This is a worldwide program? Yeah, Bay City is our newest location, and it's been growing. In fact, just in the last month, we've opened up about 20 new locations worldwide. Um, so Freedom Boat Club was founded in 1989 in Sarasota, Florida. And since then, we've grown to 350 locations. And we're growing at a very rapid rate because people are learning today that it's actually cheaper to join the club than it is to own a boat. In fact, it's about half the cost. So is, this is a, a membership type club then? Yeah, the club owns the boats. You get to have all the fun. So you join the club, you have a monthly dues, and you just come on out and enjoy the boats. We have a variety of boats ranging up to 26 foot in length. So when you say you pay the monthly dues, is there also a charge for renting the boat, so to speak, other than fuel, which you'd be responsible for, I would feel. But if I yeah, pay my membership dues, do I just reserve the boat and then come out and use it? Yeah, basically the way it works is you got a one-time entry fee, a monthly dues, and you just reserve the boat, come on out and have your day on the water. We take care of all the hassle for you. You also have the ability to just call the dock at the day and see what boats are available on the dock. And we'll just set you up on the boat you want to take out for that day. And you have all the fun. You just arrive at the dock. We carry all your stuff to the boat for you. You get on the boat. You don't have any of the hassles of uncovering the boat, untying the boat, managing the boat at all, cleaning the boat. You go out, you have your fun. When you're ready to come in, you give our dock a hand a call. They'll help you dock the boat. They'll help you tie it up. And you go on your way. We carry all your stuff back to vote. You don't have any hassles at all. That's what's really cool about people. Wow. So let me ask this uh, in terms of the Bay City location, which is the one that's most of interest to us. How many boats do you have available and what, what types are they? Great question. Currently, we're starting with 10 boats in our Bay City location. And as we 
add more members, we're going to add more boats. We have 100 slips reserved at Wheeler's Landing, which is just um, upriver from the Saginaw Bay. It's at 600 Marquette Street. And as we grow, we can grow to 100 boats there. So the more members we get, we're going to add more boats. And Wheeler's is oh, where you... Ask you answer your question, what kind yeah. of boats we have? Yeah. Um, we've got sport boats, pontoons, tritunes. We've got a 260 Crown Line. I've got a 24-foot Sea Fox. Um, I've got a 24-foot trophy fishing boat. Um, uh, sport boats with wakeboard towers on them. We've got a pretty good variety of boats. Yeah, it sounds like it. All right, we'll talk more about it. We've got to take a quick break here. Talking to Anthony Adams, he's the membership executive for the Freedom Boat Club, and we'll give you information on how to find out more information, too. When we return, we'll also chat with Terry Henney in just a couple of moments. Let me uh, take a moment, though, to tell you about our friends at Krijak's House Family Restaurant in Bay City. Best place to go for your authentic home-cooked foods with the European flair at reasonable prices. And if you're thinking about getting together with friends and family for lunch or dinner, as well as uh, events coming up, graduations, confirmations, weddings, showers, anniversaries, all that, Krijak's has an economical way for you to supply the food. You can order what you want ahead in Polish and American foods, pick it up at the restaurant ready to go, or better yet, have your celebration right there at the restaurant. At a moment's notice, Krijak's can help. Call them at 989-894-5531, 894-5531, Krijak's House Family Restaurant, corner of Cass in Michigan on Bay City's south side. We'll chat with Terry Henney in just a couple. Individual results may vary. There's no guarantee the past performance will be indicative of future results. Invest wisely. Paid for by Chicken Analytics. The man who predicted the 2020 crash warns of a huge event in 2022. His name is Mark Chaikin, and his newest prediction has gone viral with 1.5 million views. According to Chaikin, who spent 50 years on Wall Street, a historic event in 2022 will cause a massive shift in the wealth divide. This will affect anyone who owns stocks, says Chaikin, who accurately predicted the 2020 crash. Most people will never see it coming. Chaikin, a popular guest on Jim Cramer's Mad Money, has never shied away from sharing his controversial predictions. Now, Chaikin is pointing to a huge change in the way thousands of companies will need to do business in 2022. It'll affect everyone from Apple to Amazon, he says. Watch his full brand new warning free of charge at stockmarketshift.com slash radio. Go to stockmarketshift.com slash radio to learn more about 2022's huge event predicted by Mark Chaikin. That's stockmarketshift.com slash radio. Straight Talk Wireless now has the new iPhone 13 with cinematic mode, which lets you focus on what matters. And with Straight Talk, you can focus on getting the best deal. Our Silver Unlimited plan is just $45 a month for unlimited talk, text, and data. And it runs on the largest, most dependable networks. Now with nationwide 5G. With the iPhone 13 on Straight Talk, you can share whatever you want, wherever you want. Straight Talk Wireless. Available at Walmart. 5G capable device required. Actual availability, coverage, and speed may vary. See terms and conditions at straighttalk.com. School's out for summer. But if your business is running QuickBooks, you'll never get a break. QuickBooks manual processes, integration difficulties, and glitchy delays will leave you scrambling for the numbers you need. Failing to graduate to NetSuite will leave you stuck in summer school while your friends party. NetSuite by Oracle is the number one cloud financial system, no matter how big your business grows. With visibility and control of your financials, inventory, HR, e-commerce, and more, NetSuite is everything you need to grow all in one place. That's why NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system used by over 29,000 growing businesses. Automate your process with NetSuite and close your books in no time. 93% of surveyed businesses increase their visibility and control since graduating from QuickBooks to NetSuite. Right now, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind financing program, so graduating has never been easier. Head to NetSuite.com slash radar right now. NetSuite.com slash radar. NetSuite.com slash radar. All right, with warmer weather here, it's a nice time to get out, work in the garden, work on the lawn, enjoy some great outdoor furniture, cook outside, all of that. And all of those things can be found where Terry Henney is this morning, Maple Hill Nursery in Midland. Terry, good morning.
Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Terry. From the premier kitchen and bath gallery showroom and design center studios, you are listening to 100.5 and 790 WSGW. All right, back with you. And we're talking to Anthony Adams, the membership executive for the Freedom Boat Club. So let's talk about the process, Anthony. If someone wants to join the boat club, what do they need to do? Well, there's a couple ways they can do that. They can jump on our website, freedomboatclub.com, fill out the paperwork, or fill out the information right there, and you'll get to me. Or you can just call me directly. My number is 989-573-5005. Also, if they're interested, this weekend from 11 to 3, 11.30 to 3.30, excuse me, we're going to be down to Wheeler's Landing. We're going to be showing people what Freedom Boat Club is all about. You can get a free ride on the boat. Come on out there. We'll show you the club. We'll show you our amenities. We'll take you for a boat ride. So what, it, let me ask you what the club of the future is going to look like. I mean, you're brand new in the area now, the Freedom Boat Club, and you have the slips. What's your vision for the Freedom Boat Club, say, five years from now? Well, Freedom Boat Club is growing at an alarming rate. I mean, we're, we're growing really fast, and we are just expanding north of the I-69 corridor just this year. And we're planning to continue to expand north in Michigan, and we're continuing to add new locations in Michigan. Just a few years ago, we didn't have very many locations in Michigan. Now we're up to 14. And as we continue to add people and people start to learn what Freedom Boat Club is all about and how hassle-free our program is, they're going to join because it's way cheaper than doing owning a boat, and it's way easier. <laughs> yeah, got to be cheaper. Uh, do you see the day when you may have, for example, a clubhouse? Well, we currently at Wheeler's Landing, we have a clubhouse ah, there. Okay. We have a pool, and those amenities are available to our members. In fact, at all of our locations, there are a certain amount of amenities, and those amenities are available to all of our members. If they go to Florida for the winter, um, there's all we've got like 70-something marinas in Florida right now, and that, that number is growing too. And all those locations have different amenities that are available to you. Um, come check us out. Look us out online. So, You'll get to see them all. Yeah, let me understand then. If I, if I were to join the Freedom Boat Club in Bay City and I travel to Florida, my membership is good at all those marinas in Florida? All 350 locations worldwide. That's correct. No extra surcharges. Just you, you're a member. Just your gas. You pay for your well, gas. Well, you get, yeah. No, I, I meant, yeah. I, the gas, I figured you'd pay for that. <laughs> Which today, yeah. Whew. I was talking to these folks, as I mentioned, uh, I had dinner with the other night that have two boats and uh, telling me one gets a half a mile a gallon, the other gets a mile. I'm going, whoa. Then the cost of the boat and the repairs and all that stuff, it is much cheaper to share one, isn't it? It is. And it's not just that, but today's outboards and today's Mercury Motors, because we are a Brunswick company who also owns Mercury. So most of our boats have Mercury Motors on them. And with today's Motors are getting great fuel economy, unlike motors that were 10 years ago. So it's not really that expensive to spend a day on the water. We also um, will teach you how to operate the boats and we'll uh, teach you our water. Yeah. So you're a Brunswick company. So you have a big company behind you. It's not just a, you know, a small organization. This is a big organization. It is. And, you know, that's one of the things that I think has helped the Freedom Boat Club grow at such a fast rate. You know, Brunswick owns Mercury. They own Sea Ray, Boston Whaler, Cypress K, and many, many other brand mm -hmm. boats. And those are the boats you're going to get to enjoy at our marina. Wow. All right. Again, give everybody the address of the website. So our website is freedomboatclub.com. And again, my number is 989-573-5005. Well, Anthony, this has been fun. Looking forward to finding out more about it, and we'll have to do this again down the road. Hey, I appreciate the time. I just want to say one more time. Sure. Come on down to this Sunday. Weather's going to be 80. Beautiful Memorial Weekend. Come on down to Wheeler's Landing from 1130 to 3.30. We'll show you what Freedom Boat Club's all about. Look forward to it. Anthony, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Have, have a great day. Bye-bye now.
Anthony Adams with the Freedom Boat Club, a new concept in the Great Lakes Bay Area. The Tribute to Summer Concert Series takes center stage at Saginaw Eagles Landing. Don't miss 1964, a recreation of the Beatles' earliest concerts on June 16th. And Rumors, the ultimate Fleetwood Mac tribute show on June 30th. All shows are outside in the parking lot on the south side of Worth Road and include $10 free play for adults. Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino and Hotel. Real fun, real friendly. Visit saginaw-eaglesLanding.com for complete rules and details. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they get results. Having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients, get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. RocketGrabPlus.com. This week's deal on RocketGrabPlus.com is for Applied Training Solutions. We're going to get a CPO class from Applied Training Solutions for only 75 bucks. It's usually 150 but you are getting it half off. The ATS Simulation Range is a cost-effective solution for maintaining and improving your skills. Applied Training Solutions is located inside the Midland Mall. Head to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com. Struggling with CPAP? Now there's Inspire, the only FDA-approved obstructive sleep apnea treatment that works inside the body to treat the root cause of sleep apnea with just the click of a button. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Visit InspireSleep.com to learn more. That'll do it for Focus today, brought to you by RoofMax online. Get RoofMax.com, RoofMax with two X's. And our thanks to Anthony Adams from the Freedom Boat Club for being with us. Freedom Boat Club. Dot com. All right, we're going to take a break here. When we come back, it'll be Terry Henney on remote at Maple Hill Nursery next on The Farm Show. As golfers, we want more, more distance, more accuracy, more birdies, pars, and one putts. What if I told you that you can get all of that and more for less?